Hi guys, my name is Joseph Apremo and today we're speaking with some of the guys from The Rocks. We've got David, Mark and Julius and I think this is an important conversation we're about to have because where Scotland is a fantastic place to live and grow, there's many issues here and I think don't think we can shy away from that. The guys have been in the country all of a month and they already have had to deal with racist abuse from neighbours and people surrounding them. So I think this is a really important conversation we're going to have. If you guys just want to introduce yourself really quickly, you start with you, Mark. Uh, my name is Mark. Um... We, we I play for Glasgow Rocks and uh, we we arrived in Glasgow uh, one month ago, one month and a half, and uh, we enjoy we enjoy Glasgow. Everything is okay. Uh, we just have a little 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 uh, damage with the, the neighbors, but everything is okay, and we concentrate in uh, in, in play ball. So Perfect. everything is good. Oh, my name is David. I play for Rocks. I'm playing more ball. Like Mark said, we here since like one month and a half. Glasgow is a pretty city, good people. I mean, the people that we are with are really good, except uh, the neighbor that we have met before in the first half there where we went. We have some few problems with the neighbor, and just right now, we just try to keep moving forward and don't be focused on, the, on it because we're here for basketball first, and every problem all around, just second, just focus on our basketball and nothing more. I'm, uh, my name is Julius. I also play for the Rocks. <laughs> uh, uh, as David and Mark said, we uh, have been welcomed with open arms uh, by both Glasgow and, and the Rocks. Um, so we're very glad and happy to be here uh, to do our jobs every day. Um, and as they just said, we, we've yeah we've encountered some you know a couple of issues, uh, unfortunately, um, which we struggle with. But other than that, everything is uh, you know we just go by our day. Just like I said, happy to go to work. <laughs> yeah, you know, of course. I think we're just going to start from the beginning, if that's okay with you guys. So to my knowledge, it starts with a couple of noise complaints that were put in by a couple of neighbours about you guys. Do you mind telling me a little bit about that? Whoever wants to talk Yeah, about. Should, should I go? Yeah, yeah you can. Right. No, no. It's, uh, no, so we've, uh, yeah, well, we obviously we're three basketball players. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've been chilling in the, in the living room because of the COVID restrictions. Yeah, of course. So we can't really go anywhere. Um, so we just yeah just hang out in the, in the living room uh, or wherever um, play video games watch Netflix you know just the regular things um, but yeah we've had some uh, complaints from the neighbors that we've had been too loud or been stomping and doing all kinds of crazy things uh, which was not the case yeah. Um, so yeah they've called the police on us a few times um, without coming to us first and just basically introducing themselves or maybe you know, asking to quiet it down, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, basic communication as a neighbor. Um, we missed that part, unfortunately, and they called the, the police on us. Yeah, um, directly. They needed, they, the neighbor didn't even try to come first to us and try to explain the situation and just say, please, can you be a little more quiet? And mm -hmm. just called directly police, and police came directly to us and said, uh, you make noise. So we just try to see the neighbor to say, uh, to apologize because what we did, like, yeah. if you may know, we don't know, but just try to see the, the neighbor first to apologize. But, he didn't respond. Just like avoid the the conversation. So yeah, he just avoided us a lot. Yeah, because we we understand his side because he said like, oh, I wake up early, mm -hmm. I'll go to work. So we understand, and we just need to have a conversation. And after everything gonna be okay, I think we just start on the on the wrong foot. I think. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then that way, what she said, they didn't speak to you. Personally, like they should have probably at the beginning. Yeah, well, what was the first interaction you actually had with these big group of yeah. neighbors? Yeah, he came. He came to the door. Yeah, at one point he knocked on the door, and um, it pretty late. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, I, I think his wife was around the corner. She, yeah. didn't, she didn't want to come and see <laughs> us. Yeah. She did not want to come and see us. So the guy, so the neighbor, came, and uh, he just basically explained that we were too loud, slamming doors. He had a camera in front of his property, so he was watching us as well. Saying, "Oh, you doing this? You doing that?" Um, so yeah, he came knock the door and said, oh, "You guys need to be quiet." But after ten, because I work early, mm -hmm. and we said, "Hey, um, you know, just let us know if anything, you know, just let mm -hmm. us know because we live right there." Um, but he did not look too happy, and after that, we have not seen him again. After that, yeah, yeah we except did. for the supermarket. Yeah, we we'll yeah, yeah. yeah, after that. But yeah, he has avoided us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was speaking to Sean a little bit before this, and he was saying how. Um, like you touched on there that they would be filming the front door I know obviously they use the property for Airbnb as well so yeah. 
the, uh, the fact that they have cameras is fine, but they were telling, like, from what I was told, they were using that footage in a threatening way towards you guys. Do you mind talking yeah. about that a little bit? Mm-hmm. Um, so I think um, I think we had some we had some friends over one night. We just mm-hmm. sitting in the living room, distance, um, and then that's when they called the cops on us yeah, right. right away. And then he after that he complained that we were coming home and we've had. Uh, I think the neighbors had a group chat or something. So they were complaining yeah, all right, together yes. about us, right. like saying that we were bringing in prostitutes and that's crazy, crazy accusations. Yeah. <laughs> when there was another neighbor downstairs, that was the neighbor in the front, but not in the front, but the other neighbor, yeah. like, like every day, it's like a different neighbor and they all have something to say. Most of the time. Yeah. Exactly. One, one, time one day it was the trash, exactly one day it was the car. Right in the front yeah. of the house. Yeah. Because we, had, we got two car basically, because we three, and like, we just parked the car in the front of our house, and they were like, no, you can't park here. So yeah. we just tried to move the car, and when we moved the car, that's when that's what happened. happened that they right. smashed our car, the flat hot tire, like yeah. crazy stuff. We've had two week. flat tires in one week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's my yeah. 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 That's the yeah. first time happened in the year. So yeah. So the yeah. neighbor lady knocked on the door during the day, um, saying that I had to move my car because um, I was in his spot. Right. Okay. Like too so, many things happened. So yeah. Quickly, just. It was you know, we know it's stupid. We know that they don't want us here. You know? Yeah, that's exactly. Like, yeah. Like it wasn't just like, oh, hey, could you move the car? It was of a bit yeah, more, more than that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The first, we don't think about like, oh, he's rash or he's oh, sure. Yeah, we don't think about it. We never think about it. It's just like strange. That's weird. Like, yeah, yeah, it's strange. Like, oh, weird. Oh, this thing and anything. after, when, when we when you put like the, everything uh, together, you say like, Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's really, yeah, that's really weird. Right? Especially after we've have knocked on his door as well to yeah. um, apologize yeah. as well. Like, hey, if there's anything wrong, we apologize. Just left a note. Yeah, yeah, we left a note as well. Yeah, and so yeah. note. Just if there's anything, just please let us know. And every time we see him, we're in, like around yeah. the corner, just like you don't want to look at him. Yeah, yeah. tried to avoid him. We avoided us at any cost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when he was across the street or at the supermarket, where we come. Yeah. So Sean did mention that you guys had wrote the letter like you mentioned they were trying to apologise for the situation and I would, to my knowledge you can correct me if I'm wrong but they didn't have any form of response to this no nope, no, nope, nope, no response and also to my knowledge they called the head office here about 15 times in one yeah. day of complaints yeah without <laughs> speaking to you about it yeah the, the, we, we, we've, we've heard there were complaints mm-hmm. because obviously we uh, we have uh, a direct line with the, the club yeah um, but they have never came to us after, you know, to, uh, like I said, yeah. to say anything. Or, you know. And to my knowledge, they've been calling up the letting agent as well that obviously provided the flat for you guys, yes. up referring to you as, forget the language. Monkeys. That, that sound familiar to you guys? Something? Well, we, we, have, we have never uh, heard these words before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, we, 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 we knew they were complaining, but we had no idea that this was a, yeah, maybe yeah. a racial issue. Like Mark said, we never thought it. Yeah, and I mean, they, they, they never really tried to make the the, the situation better. They yeah. tried to put us like down, down, keep it down. Like just nothing, yeah. nothing trying to be like more better day after day was worse day after day. Yeah, no, of better. course. And how would you say? Obviously, the police have been out maybe two or three times. So you guys, how did they respond to the situations? Did they ask any further questions, or did they seem quite welcoming or understanding? Um, they just said like. Uh, the neighbors, uh, the neighbors called us like two, two, three times, but we don't see anything. Yeah. So we are obliged to came just for seeing, but we can say to you like, oh, you do this or you do that. Yeah. Okay. I'm they did respond very, very fast. Um, and the neighbors complained. They, they, they were there fast and they had to come in the house, obviously, to look. Um, one day uh, I was alone in the house and they called the police saying there was a noise complaint and there was lady, the lights were out, there was no one there. Mm-hmm. And the police had to come in to see if there was any, yeah, was you know, rules being broke. Yeah. So you were trying to sleep and then they had yes. to enter the property because obviously yes. <laughs> it appears no one's there. <laughs> there was a noise yeah. complaint. Yeah. So they just asked for my information and they just, you know, went about their business. No, of But they responded very fast. So I'm just going to move along to the car itself. So obviously you're provided the car by the team to get you, help you guys get the training to and from, whatever you need to do. Yeah, yeah. And to my knowledge, so there's been a couple of stab marks and the tire is completely flattened and they took a hammer to both mm-hmm. the windshield, didn't they? Yes. Um, yes. Your place and... Yeah, yeah it's completely public park. park. Yes. Like you can park everywhere. 
Yeah. Like, like it's not zonal parking or anything. It's not private parking. No, it's just no. street parking. And that's why it's so strange because they asked us a few times to move our car because we were in someone's spot. Yeah, we're, we're which was in front, yeah. So we had to park the the car out out of our sight. No, and that's when things escalate. It's yeah. awfully convenient. Yeah. Yes. That's what I say when you put the each element like together, you say like, oh, it's starting to make Yeah, of course. And I'll say for yourself, like you said, and you made clear, you've only been here a month. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yes. you made no kind of valid effort anyway to try and get you guys to under, like, even if it was noisy, like the neighborly things, they would just be like, oh, hey, do you mind turning it down a bit or mind not doing that? Like yeah. you didn't really go out of their way to make contact. But no. going back to Carla, we've already established it's completely free land. The parking does not belong to anyone. But the day itself, when they destroyed the property and destroyed the car, did they make any form of like contact with you beforehand? Did you how did you find out that this happened? Well, we did not see anyone smash the car, obviously, but no, we were in practice, I yeah, think, yeah. and we, we came like, back. They were like from eight so to ten in our practice, and like uh, we come back house around ten thirty, and uh, yeah, mark because yeah, evening practice, yeah, practice. yeah, yeah evening, evening practice, evening practice. So we because then we have two practice in a day, and yeah. we just take one car for the all the day. Yeah, so yeah. we got one car. Yeah. But the other car was parked, and I was mark like, yeah, let's, let's go to the Adler, let's take some yeah. evening yeah. Or morning to morning to eight, and we try to go to the car, and when we went to the car this time. I opened the door and I saw like on the on the sofa, oh, sorry, mm-hmm. like, like some you see like the driving thing on the driver's side. Yeah. I see like, like some shoe. Like what's this? So I just Mark said, put your flash, and I saw like the the, the glasses smashed, like yeah. totally smashed. I saw what's what they had in there. That was not no animal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. smash yeah, that's my the, the glass, like that was crazy. And that's why I thought we should call Sean and after the police. And, yeah. And like the overnight, we woke up, so we threw the same car. We go to practice when you came back from the morning practice, two flat tires. Yeah, because Julius make a, a quick check on the morning mm-hmm. not before happened. the practice. Nothing on the call. Julius make a quick check just for so the damage. Yeah. And the flat tire went okay. We are good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yeah. when we come back at we 12, 12 30, the two the two the two flat tires oh, yeah. Yeah. Very low. Yeah. Very low. So, so I guess they knew they figured it out maybe when we were practicing or yeah. when we leave yeah. or something. Yeah. 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 Actually, speaking, speaking of that, that's a good point you make. I know we kind of touched on this before, but with the fact that you also filmed the CCTV cameras yeah. Yeah. at your spot, um, I was told they were using it in kind of like a threatening way for you guys, like, oh, we see you, we know yeah. what you're doing, exactly. yes. like, we know where you are, what yeah. you're doing. So, yeah. and <laughs> for like that whole, for us in Scotland, that whole, like, my dad's better than your dad kind yeah. of power, like, we can get to you kind of thing. Kind of fear mongering. Does that yeah. sound about right? Yeah, it was a little bit uncomfortable when we knew once the tires were smashed yeah, and the car was smashed. Yeah, we're like, oh, they, they know when we are leaving and when we come back. Scary. We think yeah. that people are just yeah. like looking at us yeah. anytime. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. 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 You know, yeah. everything yeah. while we come back. So that's a little bit like it's yeah. very comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like it's fair to say you're being kept an eye on. You're being watched. Yeah, yeah. 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 Every, every move we made, they know. That, that's like, that's how it felt at least. Yeah. We're not sure if anything of this happened, but that's how it this is what it feels feels like. Well, I think it's fair to say I've lived here my whole life and I haven't exactly experienced anything of that level where I live, but I also think it's very fair to say that if it was just about any other neighbour, they probably wouldn't have come after your car. Yeah. <laughs> they probably wouldn't be bringing up your CCTV footage yeah. and things like that. So like whilst we can't definitively say what's happened, like I think it's pretty clear to see that there's a line of <laughs> a line of actions here that don't quite yeah. match up. Yeah. When they called the sponsor, that's what we heard afterwards. Yeah, so they called the they, sponsor, yeah. referring to you guys as, let's just say, derogatory terms at best. Yeah. Which, unfortunately, isn't exactly commonplace here, but it, it means exactly what it means. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had no idea when this happened. Um, yeah, we figured out afterwards. And we put the pieces together. And, because we didn't want to think any of it, you know. No, but yeah, like I said, we, we are welcome. We, you know, we've been welcomed here very well, and we love being here. Just that we just don't and then, yeah, we just okay. This must be a coincidence, you yeah, know. This, yeah, this one we don't want to. We're not blaming anyone, you know. We just doing our thing. We're not blaming anyone. Yeah, like, one neighbor yeah. was doing that. They would have been in front of our house. Yeah, you preach it all day. Like, hey, yeah. You know, you go yeah, about the only one. Yeah, yeah. When we leave, some people say like the people just in front of the house say, "Oh, you leave right now." Why stuff like that? Mm. I said like that's the issue. It's not. It's nothing. But we enjoy in Glasgow, and yeah. like I said, like Sean and the Glasgow Rocks do really good job. Really good no, job for us. But 
and um, that's really it's crazy. just unfortunate. Yes, yes exactly. Just to happen, you know. That's not because the Glasgow Road they're just oh no, absolutely no, it's not Glasgow yeah, 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 Road where everything yes. for us to be good, so that's nice. Yeah, we have we have we have fun and we we love to be here. And we go to work every yeah, day with, yeah, with exactly. a smile. So <laughs> yeah, no, there's nothing going on. We love Glasgow as well. We love yeah. the UK, and you know it's just unfortunate. Yeah, and it's just been unfortunate. Yeah, though. like whilst it's not all of Glasgow still into hold it as there, and that's why we're doing this yeah. mm-hmm. interviewing conversation because a lot of people here are under the belief that just because they don't see it, it doesn't happen. And obviously, like you'll see around you, yeah, there's a, there's more black people in Glasgow, but yeah. there really isn't yeah. that many of us yeah. around. Like we're four black men all sat yeah. inside yeah. here. We've all been through it. Yeah. Even when I was speaking to Sean about it and you tell me about it, like unfortunately it's hard to kind of feel surprised and I'm sure you guys have seen situations like this with people you know and people you don't even like. Yeah. It's yeah. Un- unfortunately somewhat com- commonplace, yeah. not just in Scotland, across the UK, but like that's why we're doing this because it's not right. Yeah, and it's not, like just because it happens in an isolated instance, that doesn't make it okay or yeah. like it's that's fine to be ignored. Yeah, that's what you need to talk about it. No, absolutely. There's a mindset in, in Scotland, and, and I've been part of that in the past, where you see all the problems in America happening, yeah. even down south in, the, in England, and it's, yeah. it's their problem, it's their problem. Yeah. Stuff like that brings it home that it's, it's not, it's, it's our problem and it's everyone's problem. And like I think, personally, like, it's one of those things, like, I know you guys won't, might not have been exactly surprised even the way you speak about the language, like it made you uncomfortable, to anyone else would be terrified. Mm. Like coming out and having your windows caved in, I don't think people <laughs> yeah. could yeah, like say I said, that's we, common place we, for them. We didn't really feel too comfortable yeah. uh, towards the end. Yeah. Uh, but at first, we didn't want to think too much of it. Yeah, of course. Like I said, you know, because um, we, we were very surprised we, this doesn't happen to us every day. Yeah, exactly. And obviously, it's been just over 30 days here. So you guys have been yeah. here, but you've already moved around, what was it, three, four times yeah. as a result of this? Yes. You know, <laughs> like, I was speaking to John before that we did this. and you saying how the letting agent tried to send you back yeah. to the same place <laughs> where it exactly. happened. And I think that's important to mention because it just highlights that people don't always take this seriously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it's all really good to say, oh, they're at it or it's upsetting or like, oh, it's not such a big deal. But yeah. if you felt attacked and unsafe in your own home, what wouldn't you feel the same way? Yeah. If you were, any of you were back home or if I was at my home and someone had done that to my family's car or any of our property, yeah. I'd be terrified too. Yeah. And rightly so because... Your home is a sanctuary. Yeah. It should feel safe. Because you're thinking, where's where's going? Where's the next? Yeah, where's exactly. Going to be after like, and you say like, you're thinking about yeah. it's getting worse, worse, worse. Like first time they come to the door. After this, is the police. After this, my your car. Yeah. What's going to be the next? Yeah, time exactly. Yeah. Knock to our door in the middle of the night, try to do something. Yeah. Like, you know, that's what I'm saying. saying. Like, that's, that's, that's the point. But we don't have neighbor. We don't know how they are. So exactly. after all this situation, you say like, the worst come again, again, and again. So. We couldn't even imagine what could be the next one. For the end of the day, we are three black men, so we just want to stay out of trouble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So when the police yeah. knocks, you know, we we are very aware. Yeah, you know, yeah like, we, we never know what can happen. Right? Yeah, everything happened like, in the, not only in Glasgow and UK, but in all the world. You don't know like how we should react after yeah. when the police come knocks on our door. We yeah. should be like really quietly. How we should be? Of course. That's that's sad to think like this right now in this in, yeah. in this world because. I like to be honest. And say like we are human, like everybody. Yeah. So we should not like be afraid when police comes to the door. Exactly. Stuff like that. It's a shame that. Well, let's be honest. It's a shame we're having to have this conversation yeah, because exactly. it's not. It shouldn't be seen as commonplace. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Like I'm sad talking about it. I hope you guys are too because realistically, nobody like there's not many people in the country that are leaving their doors worried. Oh, is it going to be me next? Yeah. yeah. Am I going to be the next statistic on the news? And it may seem trivial or whatever, but it's there. Yeah. Yeah. People being murdered, killed, slain, and for what? Yeah, because we have a bit more melanin yeah. in our skin. That's yes. Right. And yeah. it's unfortunate because, as like all four of us know, there's nothing we can do about that. No, no. And like, in that way, you guys have always been with it. It's uncomfortable, it's mm-hmm. sad. It's like, most people would be irate at this. Like, well, you, like if you were angry, I'd fully understand, honestly. Because yeah. we, we, we try to apologize. No, of course. Of course. And you're it's, not it's just weird that the uh, uh, trying to avoid us. That's very, yeah. that's yeah. just very odd. There's sort of being like Judas saying like this to be like out of the trouble, you know. Yeah, we just want to stay out of trouble and go to practice and play our games. <laughs> you know, we are guests. We try. Yeah, we try. No, I'm not. We try to talk to these guys. Yeah, yeah. We try. just like for like a year, right. like no, like for ten years. You know, we just like that for a year do a hard job and that's it. You know, we don't want like any trouble in this country. Like, because yeah. I'm from France. I'm from France. I'm from Netherlands. We're not from 
you care. Yeah, we are guests. Yeah. We are guests. Yeah. Yeah. You're guests. Yeah, you may be guests here, but you're also from countries that also have a black population. Yeah, exactly. And not yeah. saying they don't get treated like that there, but you guys have been here 30 days, and that's yeah. the first. That's why it's just surprising. Like Glasgow, the world's fortunate, a fantastic place, but yeah. that shouldn't be the welcome anyone gets here. Yeah. And that's why we're doing this because yeah. I, I still find it hard to believe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one singular month. No, but other than that, we just been, uh, you know, welcome very well. But no, our sponsors and every the staff was, has been great. Yeah, you know, yeah. even during these circumstances during COVID, you know, everything's been great. You know, uh, trying to of course. you know, you know make us feel welcome. Obviously. This is so really just unfortunate. And no, it's, you know, no, it's too bad it happens. We want, we want to be bigger than this situation. End of the day, you know, you know smart. And no, of course, keep moving forward. But obviously, it's a shame in that sense that you guys have to just kind of keep your head down and just like yeah. stay out of trouble. We have to be a little bit trouble. more aware. Yeah, exactly. You have to be hyper yes. aware of yes. your surroundings. Yeah. And in that sense, obviously, you you're here for work. Like you say, you come here, yeah. you play basketball. Like exactly. let's be honest, basketball is a black dom- dominated sport. Yeah. There's so many fans, white, black, Asian, whatever color you are around the world, that yeah. support it. But it's fine when you're entertaining, but not so much. <laughs> when you're just living yeah. and minding yeah. your business, so like that's why this is important to have this conversation because it's not just look, it's not just the four of us, it's not just Glasgow, yeah. it's not just the UK. It, right. It's, it's, it's a problem everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, well, so it's fair to know. Yes, the police have been great in the situation, and they're working with the team to try and get to the bottom of this. But at the same time, why should we have to get to the bottom of it? Like, yeah. Yeah. That's just unfortunate. Mm. At the end of the day, the police can only do, do so much, yeah, so much exactly. you know, in this situation. Exactly. Um, so that's why it's just sad, you know. It's yeah. it's unfortunate, like I said. Yeah. But we, <laughs> other than that, we just been trying to do uh, do whatever we got came here to do. Yeah, of course. And, and guys, been in the situation, we learned from it as well. Of course. Um, and yeah, I'm glad it's happened because now we know for the future we have to be more aware as well yeah. ourselves as men. So yeah, yeah. just like you said there, like. Once you're not happy, it happened. Yeah. At least you know what you're up against, and that's the sad yeah. reality of it. Yeah. I, I want to say thank you for you guys for coming down. Yeah, thanks thanks for sure this is not sure. an easy or fun topic to discuss, not for myself or any of you. Yeah. So I respect you telling this because that's real and it's there. Yeah, we had to. Thanks for having me. I think that's the word of the day, so that's why now we did. No, of course. And like you said, like, it's great that the police and the team are uh, collaborating to try and get this fixed, but. Yeah. I really hope this doesn't happen again, guys. And we'll see. <laughs> and we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Like, <laughs> you're here to play basketball and you're yeah. here to work. So I mean, we're here to enjoy uh, Glasgow and Scotland. Yeah, exactly. Well. And as a lot to offer, we're going to yeah. have a great season together. Yeah. I know we will, but yeah. it's a shame. And I want to say thank you for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Cheers.